Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming the Purpose. Today I'm going to show you how you can configure settings of iOS 18 to use strict concurrency and Swift 6.0. So in build settings, search for the Swift keyword and then go through the settings and change these two settings that I'm going to show you here. These settings are going to then introduce some errors into my code and I'm going to show you how we are going to fix these errors. If you want basically to go through this code, I have created a separate video in which I have discussed async await and dispatch groups to convert any task into asynchronous task. So basically you can check out the video link that I've attached in the description box to check out this code. It is a very simple code. And now I'm going to show you here what are the real issues with the code. So there are two issues with the setting of the JSON string inside a response string, which is a property of the actor that I'm using here with the name of async tasks. And next is basically calling of a completion handler. So what you can do in very simple cases is basically set the value inside a function in the actor. And these functions are uh, basically asynchronous tasks. So a small issue can be fixed like that. But since the issue is not fixed with it, we have also the issue with the completion handler. And uh, the, this part of the code which is being called is inside a closure that is basically a synchronous task. So we need to convert it into an async task as well. So I'm leaving this approach here and then I'm going to use the previous code and I'm going to fix it in a new way which I'm going to show you next. So basically I am going to comment out this code where I have created this asynchronous task and all of the code inside its body and the line task dot resume. I am removing the completion handler that is being passed to this function fetch data using API and convert this function into an asynchronous function which is throwing an error as well and returning our response string here. So inside that code where I have already got the URL from URL components and I have created a request, I'm enclosing this code inside a do catch because we need to throw any error that is being generated during the processing of this URL request. So after that, I'm going to call the asynchronous version of URL session dot shared dot data task which is a bit different from that so here i'm going to show you the asynchronous implementation provided by xcode so it is url session dot shared dot data for request we have already the request inside our variable request next we are going to process the http response and see if it is a valid response Otherwise, we are going to throw an error. If it's valid, we are going to move to get the response string and return it from this function. So this is how we are going to handle this error in this part of the code. So here we are throwing the error. So we are done. Next, we are going to write here a cat statement that corresponds to the do statement that we added previously. So there are some issues with the parentheses. I've adjusted the brackets here. Okay, so we are done with the code of this function. Next, we are going to change the call to this function because obviously it would also be in error after we have updated the signature of the function. So we have added these two tasks inside task group. That is task one and task two that have different API. These API corresponds to the AccuWeather API. You can check out the code in the description box and see that how it's being implemented. It is a very simple and straightforward code that provides you some information about the region and an 
autocomplete string for the other API. So here I'm writing a print statement that shows the response string for task one. And we have removed basically the input parameter to our fetch data using API function because we are not passing any input and the output we are printing on the screen. So we have created these two tasks. When I go through the errors, there are two more errors. So these are the errors with the brackets here. I've adjusted them. And next, there is a problem with this, the main function fetch data using API because it is not returning a string at one of the paths. So I have added a string here. So our code is built successfully and now it's being run. And you can see here the response string inside the console output. So we are done with the fixing of this error. There might be other type of errors in actors and in asynchronous code when you are using Swift 6.0 with strict concurrency checking. So I'm going to go through my codes and if I'm going to see any different errors, I'm going to show you how to fix these. Do not forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.